Okay, so a few Google Workspace updates. Um, not massive changes in the last month. I think sort of July and August saw a huge amount of changes changes as um, as schools reopened. Uh, but we do have a few updates. Firstly, Google Sites is seeing um, an update to the formatting, just in terms of spacing. In fact, there's a couple of Google Sites updates over the last couple of months that made it easier to format um, your Google Sites, and you can now include um, easy links to social media outlets as well. So if you're using Google Sites, maybe for sports teams or for other projects within schools, they've received some uh, updates. Now, this is not strictly an, uh, a Google update at all, but I did watch this video. And I know a lot of schools are using Apple devices, Windows devices. I guess this is a, this is a shameless plug for Chrome OS. I've just included the link there and then this, this slide deck Again, I'll, I'll make sure the slide deck is linked from the calendar invite. It's a great video just going over Chrome OS and unearthing some features that maybe people are not familiar with. Um, Chrome OS has, has grown a lot. I think there's a, a misunderstanding that Chrome OS is a, a paired back um, operating system. And yes, yeah, certainly sort of five or 10 years ago, yes, it was. It's a lot more fully featured now. It's a great video. If you're looking to be updated about Chrome OS, it's a really great place to um, to discover some of the features. And that's in the slide deck, and we'll make sure you've got the- um, Chrome OS is one of the oops, most- The link to that later. And just sort of tagging on to there, um, Acer has had a big um, push on sustainability, and they've launched their new line of products tagged with Zero. And not only are they rugged and durable, but they're also uh, certain parts are made from uh, recycled materials. Uh, so the parts of the case, parts of the touchpad, parts of the interior are made from recycled materials, some of it collected from, I think it's ocean glass and plastic. So just uh, another little plug there for Acer. Okay, moving on with the, with the updates. So again, not a huge amount of updates. I think maybe not all are relevant to, to uh, our guests here today, but Google Chat has received an update um, you're able to use smart replies in, in more languages. So Spanish, French, and Portuguese are now supported for smart replies. Another one, so if schools are still in, in hybrid learning or perhaps you're running meetings on, on Google Meet, you're now able to share um, artifacts from Google Meet with your co-hosts. So artifacts could include things like uh, recordings, attendance tracking, polling, et cetera. And so if you have a co-teacher or you have a co-host for a Google Meet for a meeting, it's going to be much easier to share those artifacts with those co-hosts. Okay, so moving on. Uh, Google Meet endpoint management. So again, this is possibly a little bit of a niche feature update. Endpoint management now allowing personal and work uh, entries into Google Calendar on Android devices. It's probably a little bit niche. The link is there if you want to read more about that, but it's specifically for Android devices. Google Meet hardware. Um, I know that some schools are starting to use Google Meet hardware in, in, their, um, in their schools. And uh, there's recently been an update to framing. So framing just meaning uh, looking at individuals, uh, basically focusing on individuals in Google Meets. And there is an update forthcoming to focus on groups of people within Google Meets as well. But this is specifically for Google Meet hardware. Uh, an update to, I don't think I'll go into this in too much depth, uh, calendar interrupt, so scaling, the ability to work with, um, with Exchange. So if you are working across Google Calendar and Microsoft Exchange, it's just um, basically scaling the ability to, to do that and increasing, uh, removing the limits behind that by using role accounts. Uh, calendar user availability API is launching in beta soon. Uh, there is a beta you can sign up for. There will be a beta you can sign up for and preview documentation. In case anybody is still using Google Hangouts, and I was talking with Peter earlier, Peter and I were talking with, we think that most people have already migrated, but if you are still using Google Hangouts, I believe this is going to be the final notification that Hangouts is going away and being obviously replaced with Google Chat November the 1st. There have been a number of announcements about migrating data from Google Hangouts. Uh, those are linked here as well. 
Um, and you can also see like the difference between Google Chat and, and Google Hangouts. Um, incidentally, just added onto this, Google Currents will be migrating to Google Spaces as well. And there's been a couple of communications about that. So Hangouts is going to chat by November the 1st. I forget the date for Google Currents migrating to Google Spaces, but that's coming up fairly soon as well. OK, a minor sort of usability work insights reporting to Google Chat and uh, Google Meet. So just uh, the ability to have insights, um, how users are using those in product, for productivity. And again, you can click through to see the, to see the update on that. OK, inserting emojis in line with text in Google Docs. So this is the ability to, rather than using insert or other methods of copy and pasting from a keyboard, you can actually do this directly in Google Docs. So you can uh, type the at sign and then begin typing the emoji, so whatever the emoji may be. And those can just be inserted uh, now in line, just makes it a little bit quicker. And again, the at sign really opens up a lot of insert ability. You can insert headings. You can tag doc insert. Uh, documents now using it. There's a lot of different things now you can do with the at sign, and they're all related to inserting smart chips. So it's, uh, if you haven't tried it out already, just type the at sign on your keyboard and you'll see a quick menu yeah. with all of those possibilities come up. Uh, possibly slightly niche here again, um, customizing digital signage on Google Meet hardware through app space. Uh, if you want to learn a bit more about that, we will. Um, I think you can click through to that one. Dark Canvas theme now available on Google, Google Meet hardware. Um, given that Spaces is replacing currents and uh, people are starting to use Spaces a lot more, it's going to be a lot easier to discover Spaces within your organization. So you, if you have a named space, you'll now be able to search within Gmail to find that named space. And it is actually possible to join a space that's existing in your organization if it's open for joining. So they will become discoverable now from Gmail. So when you type in the Gmail search bar, you can search for a specific space. So for example, if you had a space for your finance team that was open for people to join, then you could search for that in, in Gmail. Uh, Google's enabled um, visitor sharing which is the ability for non-Google users to upload files to your Google Drive. Now, this is enabled. Obviously, you have to enable it on your domain. And then it's, it's secure. You're using a PIN number, a PIN code, to access visitor sharing. When it's enabled and when you give people who are not Google users access, users which are not Google users access to that, then they're able to upload files to uh, your Google Drive or maybe a folder within your Google Drive. And so that could be great, perhaps you're working with contractors or working on projects across schools which aren't using Google. Maybe they want to upload files to Google Drive. So that can be enabled. It is still secure. It does require pin code access, but um, it does enable that collaboration across non-Google users. And I saw, I think we mentioned it, I'm sure we mentioned this in, in July and August, extending uh, functionality with Google Sheets and named functions. So finally, it got released. Uh, we just saw on our domain a couple of days ago, a named function is essentially you can take a series of functions within Google Sheets. So if you're working on the lookup, for example, and you're combining it with um, other functions, you can create essentially a nested function and name that entire function and save it. It can then be used across different sheets files. So you can name a complex function, and then you can use it across different sheets. And it should be rolled out to every domain by now, or maybe it's just it's finishing the rollout this week. But it should, most people should be saying that by now. So name functions. Haven't used it that much yet. It looks fantastic. Really want to dive in that a bit more for my Google Sheets. Um, I think we maybe skip this one. Upgrade to OAuth 2.0 to continue using calendar interrupt. If you're interested in that, you can uh, click through to that. Um, hey Google can now be used on Google Meet hardware. OK, and I think this is the last one. This is a good one. Um, you can now assign tasks from Google Docs. And I think this is a great one. So what you can do, you have a Google Doc. So the question is always, if you're running a project, if you manage a project, 
Do you use project management software for that? Do you use Google Sheets? Or now Google Docs is becoming a viable option for managing projects, certainly smaller projects. So with Google Docs, so you can assign smart chips, but now you can assign um, checklist items to yourself or a colleague. And the great thing about that is they don't just receive a notification about it, it goes into their Google Tasks list. So when they go to Google Tasks, they'll see, um, I should be careful telling Dan Taylor, Dan Taylor about this, but if you sign something within Google Docs as a task list, it will go straight to the user's Google Tasks list. So when they open up their Google Tasks, obviously, they'll see those assigned tasks as well from Google, Ta from Google Docs. I think that's a great feature. It's going to be interesting to see, here, to see how that works out and to see where the best place is to manage projects or mini projects. Um, is it Google Sheets? Is it Google Docs? Or is it somewhere else? Looks like a really, really good feature set. Okay, that is it for our updates this month.